All right, guys, so this is the Orion sailboat. Um, I was mistaken when I first told you guys about this. I thought it was uh, ready to race, but this is just a uh, ready, to, ready to sail, basically, which means that you have to um, supply your, um, your receiver and some batteries for the, uh, for the um, onboard uh, receiver. Um, so I have my own receiver over there. It's all bound up. You might be able to see it blinking there. Uh, bound to my radio. It's one of my old receivers. It's really small, so it should fit in there really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together. Take a look at this thing. I already have been taking a look at the manual here. And the first thing it says to do is to uh, put together the uh, stand for it. So I'm definitely going to do that. Let's put that on there. I like it. Looks pretty cool. All right. Um, let's see. Keel and ballast and rudder assembly. Take the keel, ballast, and rudder out of the box and assemble them as in the photos shown. Uh, my head's going to be here a little bit cut off here, so hopefully that doesn't bother you guys. All right. So first it says to put this thingy into this thingy here. Secure the keel and ballast with an M4 nut and screwdriver. So let's do that. And for nut and driver. Well, I guess it's going to be these um, these kind of bolt like looking things. Most definitely. I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some thread locker on here because I don't want that coming out in the middle of my uh, sailing experience here. Okay, so it looks a bit like that right there. And like I said, this is super heavy. Like the balance point is like right there. Crazy, huh? All right, so this is supposed to go up through the bottom of the boat and uh, tie into something in up there. So let's see here. Let's see where it goes. Oh, right there. Make sure I don't get any on the plastic because it turns it brittle. When I'm doing this um, build here, it's going to be from an extreme beginner's um, standpoint. Shaft onto the rudder arm. Make sure that the rudder can rotate freely and the gap for the for up and down is no more than 0.5 millimeters so okay so there's that so guys basically on the very top here is the uh, rudder control so I'm going to turn this the proper direction and I just need to um, drop that like that and basically there is a flat spot on this um, shaft here which is going to be tightened up let's tighten this guy up it should just center itself here because of the flat spot There we go. There's my rudder. I have to do the um, mainsail rigging. Oh boy. <laughs> the part I was afraid of. It's all these little tiny threads in here. Okay, so let me see what I need to do here. <clears throat> uh -huh. There we go. Okay, these are two separate pieces. Yay! Okay, let's see here. Where's Dutch RC when you need him? Hmm? Huh? Answer me that. I think I've got this uh, down. Uh, basically, uh, these are limit. These two sails are limited by their motion by the two strings that are passed through this little um, pulley back here. Uh, on the uh, instructions to see what's exactly going on because they are small lines um, but um, I have a feeling that uh, when I get this uh, hooked up I'm gonna put the um, this uh, sail control on my throttle and my rudder control on my um, aileron here on my DX8 so I had a real tough time with this little um, guy right here it just wasn't hooked up right you know there's, there's like three different ways you could hook it up so uh, everything else is looking pretty good though I must say so all right, guys, uh, I'm going to hook up my receiver and we'll see where we go from there. So this is my finished boat. Uh, it's uh, very interesting because I had no idea even how the sails worked, but uh, I was able to kind of just decipher how everything went and everything was actually really well tied as far as the knots go. They're all almost the exact right length. So that was really nice. And there's little adjustments, all these little uh, O-rings you see on here, these little um, guys, they basically it's tied onto one 
and then thread it through another so you can adjust the lengths uh, and it makes it really easy to adjust. You can see right here I've got my seals kind of tight right now. You can see they that, actually this one needs to be a little tighter so let me make this a little tighter. You guys can see my so the sails are nice and tight right now. If I if I uh, raise my throttle, to, let me raise it to half. You can see that now that the, that the uh, sails can tilt a little bit. I don't know what you call that. I'm gonna raise it a little bit more, and it lets out a little bit more slack. You see that, and a little bit more. I had to reverse my throttle. My transmitter thought I was crazy. I'm like, you are? Do you really want to reverse your throttle? So, and if I want to pull those back in, I just pull it back. And that'll be for, you know, obviously either side. The sail can go to either side. So yeah, my down position is nice and taut. That's pretty cool, man. I have to say. Uh, and of course, my rudder is back here. You guys might not be able to see that, but it's um, it's working great. Uh, very very interesting. Very simple model. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna kind of remind me of slope soaring, where you're just using the wind. So uh, they are giving me some. Um, some sailing lessons here, uh, so I will uh, take a look at that. I kind of think I know how, how to work it, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, but it should be kind of cool. I'm kinda, I'm kind of um, I'm really uh, interested in um, in getting this working. Uh, I thought it was cool that when the slack is let out through this little pulley here, um, you can see that this uh, the head of this thing kind of slides forward and helps to keep tension on all this on this uh, rigging here. Uh, so it's like a little rubber band that hooks through here, through here, through here. You can see that that little rigging go back, going back and forth there. So, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. It's um, it's an interesting little adventure. I really didn't think I'd ever buy a boat, but uh, since Hobby King was having that sale, I thought why the heck not? So uh, thanks guys for watching and uh, uh, droning on with me. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.